Etel Adnan, a name synonymous with vibrant colors, evocative poems, and a life overflowing with artistic expression. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the world of this extraordinary Lebanese-American artist, writer, and intellectual. So, let's start the video. Why is the horizon of my consciousness so limited? Who set its boundaries and why? What I am really longing for is something beyond freedom, beyond disbelief. Explanation. Writing is a way of avoiding death and sickness. It doesn't solve anything, but it forges a feeling of companionship. The universe is an immense meadow in which our symbolic gestures of love get swallowed up. Each language is a world, a cosmos. I live in multiple worlds. I keep changing worlds. To be able to love is an art. It requires training in the complexities of the heart. I write with a passion, with a longing for something more, something beyond, something infinite. I write because I want to bring forth the invisible, to make it visible, to bring it closer to the people. To create is to resist. It's an act of rebellion against the status quo. Nature is my cathedral, my mosque, my temple. Silence is both a source of mystery and a means of liberation. Writing is like a dance, a delicate balance between control and surrender. I write to capture fleeting moments, to freeze time in words. Beauty is not in the eye of the beholder, it's in the heart of the artist. Every word carries the weight of the world. Every word possesses the power to heal or to wound. Art is a mirror that reflects the depths of the human condition. Why is the horizon of my consciousness so limited? Who set its boundaries and why? Writing is an act of faith, a belief in the power of words to change the world. The artist's role is to challenge perceptions, to question the unquestioned. Words are my tools, my weapons, my refuge. Every stroke of the brush, every word on the page, is an act of creation, a defiance against destruction. Art is the sacred language of the soul, a prayer for the ephemeral beauty of existence. To write is to listen, to open oneself to the whispers of the universe. There is no greater satisfaction than to see one's thoughts take form on the page. Art is the bridge between the tangible and the intangible, the known and the unknown. Writing is a form of prayer, a communion with something larger than ourselves. Why is the horizon of my consciousness so limited? Who set its boundaries and why? Art is a rebellion against meaninglessness, a celebration of the infinite possibilities of being. Why is the horizon of my consciousness so limited? Who set its boundaries and why? In art, there is no right or wrong, only the expression of one's inner truth. There is no such thing as a fixed identity. We are constantly evolving, always becoming. Art is a language without borders. It connects souls across time and space. Colors exist for me as entities in themselves, as metaphysical beings. I write what I see. I paint what I am. Writing is drawing. Drawing is writing. Because it's the same gesture. They're close already. Do what your inner soul tells you to do. Regardless of any money or success, it will bring you. Art. There is no right or wrong, only the expression of one's inner truth. Nature is my cathedral, my mosque, my temple. Places are part of nature, of the bigger picture. We are interrelated. When we contemplate them in their own right, they can sometimes change our lives. They can become spiritual experiences. Not seeing rivers is also another way of dying. Spring is dangerous, like love, and love survives the lovers. Memory and time, both immaterial, are rivers with no banks and constantly merging. Both escape our will, though we depend on them. Art is a breaking out of imprisonment. It's self-expansion. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.